What's up guys, I'm back here in the uh, in the garage in my trap lab and I'm about to put together a couple pinfish, baitfish traps and I'll uh, bring y'all along just to show you a little bit of what goes into making my, uh, my pinfish traps. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna make a simple pinfish, baitfish trap um, I got this little bender here. It's just a piece of plywood that's on some hinges. So I think I've, I've got a video up of how I did that. Uh, this is 24 inches wide. It's what I use to make my crab traps with, but it also works for the 20 inch wide uh, pinfish trap as well. So on my bench, I have a mark right here that shows me how long to pull out the wire to. Once I'm in the right spot, I just give it a little fold. Move that out to my mark. Hold it again. Pull it out to my mark. And fold it one last time. And this is going to be the main body of my pinfish trap. Pretty simple. There's a bunch of super sophisticated benders out there that'll cost you an arm and a leg, but I found that this thing right here is, if not quicker than any of those, and about a, about 15 times cheaper. So next, making a pinfish trap, what I'm gonna do is, I've got this one inch wire here which is what the whole trap is made of, but I'm going to count out four, and this is gonna be a four by four by 20 inches long uh, bait well tube. And I'm just gonna bend it the same way that I bent the body of the trap. You just kinda get the bends there just to kinda show you where they go, and then you can fine tune them once you uh, get the shape of the whole bait well there. Kind of like that. Just kind of gives you a guide. And then when you go to hog ring it together, it'll go just like that. So for my next step in the pinfish trap, again, inch by inch wire here. This is going to be a 27 inch by 20 inch um, piece of mesh. It's going to be folded in half where I have 13 inches on each side with an inch in the middle, which is where I uh, cut my entrances out for the pinfish to enter the trap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, like this. Just a nice gradual bend. Doesn't have to be anything too sharp or too precise. Those are gonna sit like this inside of the trap. The focus of something is off, but it's still good. Yeah, it sits like that, the body goes around it, and it's a pretty awesome pinfish trap. So now I have all my components cut out. 20 inches by 80 inches by 24 wide. You got your 27 by 20 with your entrance holes cut. I still haven't bent back the openings yet, but those are gonna be your entrances. And the reason I like these entrances is because on some of your other bait traps, you know, all in through here, it's two pieces. 
and then they have their entrances just separated out with little connector pieces of metal. The otters could get in there and, and grab it and pull it apart. Get in there, let all your bait out, eat all your bait, and um, leave you for no bait on a, on a fishing day. This is gonna be my bait well here. So now I'm just going to um, put all these together and uh, show you the details at the end. So there's nothing really to hooking everything together. Got my hog ring gun right down there, shooting half inch hog rings. I've got these stainless hog rings here. They kind of come on a strip of a hundred. Just load them up and, and go in. These are um, pretty strong hog rings. I haven't had, really had any issues with them wanting to pull apart or uh, rust after about a, even a year of use. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put a hog ring every other inch here. That seems to be just enough. Some people do more, some people do less, um, but I find that one every other inch is, is plenty. Two to start it out as always, and every other, every other inch. Same thing with the bait tube here, just one every other inch is plenty. It kind of takes the most of the abuse, you know, stuffing bait down in there and pulling old carcasses out of it. They never want to skip, skip on hogs if you can help it because they are what hold the trap together. And especially this, this column acts as essentially a support column in the middle of the whole trap. So it gives a lot of stability. Now what I'm going to do is put these on, but I need to bend back these corners. I got some pliers. So what I like to do is bend back these corners and it makes the fit a lot better when you go to put it into the cage. Just a slight corner bend back, that way the corners don't protrude your trap and scratch your boat or your hand or anything like that. It just makes for a nice fit. think about it, you want to go ahead and bend your entrances open. Sometimes I forget to do that until afterwards and it's just a pain to get in there and bend them out once it's already built. Track. 
Two and a quarter again. And then you're just going to repeat this on both sides. Like I said, you're going to repeat this on the other side, and uh, then we're almost done, other than the bait tube and the dump doors. Find your center point where you want your, your bait well here, and it comes out to three squares over from the tip of each funnel. And that uh, seems to be a pretty good location for it. Just a couple of tack it down, you're going to end up cutting the center out so you want to have it pretty well attached so it holds up pretty well once you cut the middle out. Now the bottom, you pretty much only have to just tack it on there. Done, guys. I got the whole body of the trap done. I don't know if you can see those entrances right there. All I got to do now is cut a dump door and uh, cut my bait well door. She's ready to fish. So, this last part. All we're going to be doing is um, I'm just going to be putting the door onto the bait well here as well as installing our dump door over here. And for my dump door and my bait well, I always like to have an inch on either side other than where it connects. Um, just to give a little bit of an overlap, sometimes the otters like to get in there and pull on these. And when there's a little bit of an overlap, if they make a little bend, doesn't really doesn't really affect anything and your bait can't get out. Same with your dump door over here. So I'm just gonna hook these on real quick. That's good. on my dump. And a piece of elastic across here to secure my, my bait door and, and that's it guys. 
Y'all, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more fishing videos, um, how-tos on, you know, traps, fishing rigs, things to do around the Destin area, and um, just kind of whatever comes to mind. So uh, y'all stay around, and there will be some cool stuff to watch. Thanks.